Welcome back, peeps. It's still raining. It was episode four of the Let's Play of this brutal the mode. Has calmed down. The storm is over. Oh, it was the storm that was turning my electricity off. That should give us <laughs> something to repair down here. I was lucky I got this wall. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. Yeah, that's the mine coming immediately. I need to repair this. Um... Well, this what has this forward station just given me? Well, it's given me some more mines. I guess I'll go for the blue one as that's the one I needed most. Um, wrong one. I'm like, why does it not want to build? Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Yeah, because the reason I'm running out of ammo is I just need more storage and that needs the headquarters. So the headquarters has become a little bit of a liability at the minute. Right, so we need to upgrade this one. It's going to give one under the building basically out of it. This, as soon as this is upgraded, I need then to upgrade my, my main base. This south section that I've just put down, that, that like little base. There's more orange though than anything else. And I, I'm, it's blue that I'm really after. So that forward base though is a nice little battle station. I am uh, keep that protected, but I need to start finding more blue rich areas. And I'm still only scratching the surface on this map, but it's been quite intense, hasn't it? Of course, I'm getting a technological leap now with um, turrets coming in, which is all dandy and all that stuff, but... All right, that's everything upgraded. The next is gonna be a big attack, peeps. I just need 3,500. But what it's going to new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Oh, uh, energy weapons! Research Fantastic. Completed. That gets me the plasma gun. That's an upgrade. Let's get that. Oh my god! Crafting completed. That replaces the blaster. You can see it almost does double damage, but it actually attacks more per second, so the DPS is three times the gun. Less range, though, but it is really, really good. Let's look at the upgrade tree at the minute. Yeah, I need to get level five on the headquarters to get my, my upgrade to my rocket launch and stuff. The flamethrower blue will be coming in very soon, but... Hopefully, within 2 minutes 30, I can get this small machine gun because it's such a big upgrade over the one you've got. And, well, my goodness, it's going to be really, really worth it. So. Small caliber weapons. Just looking at the energy. Oh, I'm just looking at the energy. I can upgrade my wind towers and stuff. Oh, that tech came in, peeps. Um, it basically doubles the power. It had 20, it's going to give me 40. Yeah, we need to fill the maximum um, batteries that we've got before midnight. 
Because when I'm fighting at night and the factories can't produce ammo, it's like unbelievable, like, compromise. I should have some wind towers as well that I can do. Just give a generic boost to my... Got a lot here. Did I just do these? No. Warning. I am detecting rapid condensation in the upper parts of the atmosphere. A hailstorm is coming. Intense hailstorm is in progress. It's damaging my armor and our structures. Yeah, pain in the ass. Uh... A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Research completed. Oh, the machine gun. We're getting upgraded weapons now. This is starting to get really good. It does need 200 carbs. Just quickly save that up. And, um... Crafting completed. That is going to be a massive upgrade. I can put a mod in there. I've not really been getting mods though at the present. No mods. <laughs> I'm not getting no drops from anything. Because I've not been able to do any research yet. And it's because I need to build the rift station. Right, we've got genu genuine a lot of power coming in here. How much is that rift station going to cost if I put it in? A thousand. Rift station is going to need a lot of water. I have a lot of water on the right hand side. There, so this is kind of an interesting place to put the rift station. Pyronium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral Von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after mm. traveling halfway through the galaxy. Technology. Captain Novak. You were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. During your services with the extraterrestrial science corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. And you, what do you mean, Robert? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am archiving all of the motivational speeches. Oh. 
Just cleaning out Dan Scythe. Oh, let's. Uh, I I'll get a mod from these. They're gonna attack my base. Get up there. See what I get from this. Oh, a massive field of cobalt. Put the rift station. Where did I put it? The construction of the rift station oh. foundation <laughs> has been completed. We need to construct all of the rift station components before we can start powering up the portal. The rift station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium, and the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long-range rip jumps around the planet. We don't have the required schematics to build an orbital scanner. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. Warning! A large group of creatures is gathering near our base. Prepare for an incoming attack. Download orbital scanning tech. I'm, I'm going to try and fall with the, Research the thing. Completed. Oh! oh. Getting better. This, this, <laughs> so much. This is so good. The repair tools is what I've been missing. It basically gives regeneration, and I'm so happy. Well, I can't do anything. Again, the power's just bombed out. So it's all kind of chill apart from that attack coming in, but I, I think I'm going to upgrade the, uh, you know what? Headquarters. I'll get this mech repair advance coming in, see if I can build it, and then get the headquarters upgraded. I don't want this three attack coming in. I'd rather upgrade the headquarters just to get more ammo storage for one. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. 3,500. This is going to be another race to get in. Twenty seconds. <laughs> also, map monitoring the power at the minute. Will it max out the 174k? Oh dear. When I was playing on hard mode, I was lucky because I had lots of thermal power stations around me. A new technology me. has been developed. New blue Danger! Enemy creatures are closing in. Oh Get shit! Research completed. Shit. Energy sensors. I already have that on me. It says I don't have armor plating on me. 
Oh, it's because I've got two of them. Okay, I need to craft armor plating. Because it gives me more resistance and stuff. Ready to fight. We yeah, but I guess we're ready to fight, yeah. Well, that was an amazing attack there. I couldn't get my walls up fast enough, but you just saw the raw power that I had. A new Let's... technology has been developed. The orbital scanner uses advanced technology and requires additional resources in order to be built. We need to gather a large amount of cobalt to construct this building. Ashley, now that you've got practice with using the geo scanner. You can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. It looks like it's going to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. Then we should definitely check the area around our base with it. Ashley, my sensors are picking up an underground cobalt deposit nearby. I've marked its approximate location on your map. We should go there and search for it with the Geo Scanner. It's this, not that close, really. This is we the Geo Scanner. We should have some better way. equipment before we try to venture out that far. We now have enough cobalt research completed. Ammo storage upgrade. Oh my god, that's going to be fantastic. We've got the Optical Scanner that we can build, and we're looking at new research. Let's see what we got then. Minigun! Well, if you look at the minigun at the minute, it's a 1,000 DPS, and um, it has 18 to 20 push, like, hard damage. The minigun, however, only has... It has less, so this thing throws things back, so it is worth having. Let's put that on the list. Um, anything else here of interest? Um... No, we really need now headquarters level 5 for anything for the suit. We are restricted. This thing needs nuclear. Um, Sentinel Tower 2. Artillery 2 needs uranium. We're not getting that yet. Repair Facility 2 need cobalt. Not getting that yet. Flamer 2 needs titanium. Not getting that yet. Plasma Tower needs palladium. Not getting that then. Uh, Radar 2 is nice, but it needs uranium. So most of this stuff's on hold. Sentiel Tower 2, though, might be worth it because I can get Sentiel Tower 3 and I can get attack drones and miniguns if I go that, if I actually go down that route. So that's kind of nice to go that way. Um, storage boxes could be a good thing. The gas power plants are not really rock. We definitely need a laboratory. That's a, a big one. And um, 
So let's put storage and then the labs in. And we'll do water next because we are going to be scanning. Oh, and we didn't put Sentinel 2 in. I'll go down that path because attack drones are wonderful. Right. To construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we mm. encounter here. Mm. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the Alien Research Laboratory building. The Alien Research Laboratory is a complex structure and requires multiple schematics in order to be built. Download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. Base is under attack. This is just going to need a lot of repair. It's like a... The earthquake has stopped. Let's assess the damage. Right, everything leading to the headquarters. I'm just doing a bit of repair here because of that storm. I'm actually going to build a few more um, storage things because I'm a bit worried my I'd ideally like it to go 200,000 here now because I'm getting excess coming in a new technology has been developed new blueprints are available for crafting research completed it wants me to research that. Maybe I'll fast track it. Things are a bit on the quiet. Look, there's a blue down there, which is going to be great to get. But 24 coming in is decent. Absolutely is decent. I have got my little radar now, so I can do a bit of a scan down here just to see what's here. Two blues down there. Right, so that's building. Re tech thing is coming in. It's going to be a lot happening here, and I'm going to update. <laughs> Gonna update the research, the um, headquarters. So let's just teleport there. Let's do it, peeps. Headquarters upgrade in progress. All coming this from the bottom right. Attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. Do you know what came in and I completely forgot? I can upgrade my storage for ammo. That's going to get my factories going. A new 
technology has been developed. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. I want to try and meet these head on. I'm going deep. Orbital scanner construction finished. Planetary geomapping procedure in progress. Searching for traces of uranium, palladium, and titanium. This process may take some time. Sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. Well, um, is it? This is them. They're coming now. Oh, we met them. Oh, yeah, baby. This will give the towers a little bit of breathing room. I'm also throwing grenades, putting mines down, I'm giving it everything, peeps. Weapon dropped. We I can't, it was one of those range guys from the right. I saw it at the last second and I've lost my rocket launcher. Holy shit. Oh no. That's my main weapon. Under attack. Get through the forest. Threat neutralized. This will buy us some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. It's all right, they're not, not dead yet! Oh, artillery! I love you! So exhilarating! Oh, there's a big guy here! Base is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. Jesus Christ, look at that big stuff that came in. That was mega exciting. Also the reward peeps. I can't express how much more storage for ammo. It's such a key component of the game. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that was the right tactic, going down and meeting them halfway to absolutely get the push on them. S 
sometimes you've really got to think ahead of what to do, and I, I, I learned like doing that in the main game when I did it, so you, that's why it's recommended you play the, the, the normal mode when you uh, when you play it and stuff. Are any of these upgraded? All upgraded? Very good. Research completed. We've got the lab so we can build it. Alien research has come in, but more essentially on this now should have opened. I need headquarters level five. Oh my god, we need to do another attack of the base. <laughs> oh well, peeps, I think that's going to end today's let's play. I'm going to take a break from it, but oh, can I build another one of these? Uh, not quite. We're building laboratories. I think I'll I'll do that next. Um, on our next play. So, thank you so much for watching this is PC Gamer Radio. Love you all watching it, and if you can subscribe to the channel, that'd be fantastic to and uh, give the video a thumbs up to raise um, awareness on the channel and um, all that good stuff. So, let's we'll end it as we go to the orbital tower that I got built down in here. Can't upgrade these, no. I've been building stuff in really weird places. I should just put teleports where I put them, I think. <laughs> there it is. The uh, orbital thing. This will get me going to new places. And it wants me... Um, I need to convert this water into... Well, look, this toxic water into fresh water to feed these laboratories. So that's what I'll get up to in the next Let's Play. And of course, we'll be doing another massive attack as we upgrade our tower, our main headquarters to level 5. So thank you so much for watching. You take care. I've been your host, Lipstick Plaid Paddy. This is PC Gaming Radio on YouTube. So you take care and with love, take care and bye bye for now. Well, thanks for watching. And if you remember. You can please subscribe and like the video. And don't remember, you can also hit the bell for notices on the channel. Yeah, we've also got a Twitter you can see on our banner. So check that out too. So take care and bye-bye.